Hey friends, today we are decorating my buffet for summer. The area by my buffet is pretty dark, so this is going to be the perfect opportunity to open up my brand new Achille floor lamp. Now, I have not opened it up yet, I have only seen a picture, so let's do that together, check it out, and see if it's going to fit over in that area. I will link a discount code below in the description box if you like this lamp and you'd like to grab one for yourself. Good packaging and free shipping boxes are always good. This is the bronze finish. Ooh, this base is heavy. And it is not disappointing. Very, very, very pretty. That's gonna go great with my dark wood decor and also be neutral enough to really fit into every season. That is a nice, heavy base. Ooh, and it comes with an LED Edison bulb, which I thought it was gonna have a regular bulb and I was gonna have to buy an Edison bulb, so that's awesome. Y'all drop me a comment down below. Do you use lamps in your home? I love lamps and absolutely despise overhead lighting. Pop these little black tabs off. Maybe. There it goes. Slide that up. I was concerned for a second because there were no instructions. And then I realized I'll need instructions. <laughs> it's my kind of installation and setup. Super simple. Oh, this is gonna be so cute. It's gonna go perfect in here. I fell in love with the simple design of this lamp when they sent me the picture and I really enjoyed how simple it was to put together. As I stand it up, you can see it's about as tall as me, five foot tall, I do believe. I did just a little more tightening and it was ready to be put into place after I took off the little sticker. I wanted to clean the mirror real quick before I put anything else in front of it as it was getting pretty dusty and I am going to decorate this buffet. This is my favorite spot to decorate. I sit on the couch and have my morning coffee and I'm sitting here now doing my voiceovers. So having the buffet beautifully decorated is nice to look at. You can see in the reflection on my mirror there, I have another lamp that hangs from the ceiling and it has an Edison bulb in it as well. I love the warm, soft glow of those Edison bulbs. Also, you can see my vacuum on the couch because this is real life and I live here. <laughs> That's obviously where I set it down. You know, it's fine. So I'm putting the Edison bulb in. Obviously it screws in, super simple. Whoops, it was already plugged in and turned on. <laughs> Glad I didn't electrocute myself. But here it is all stood up in place and again so simple but perfect for my like industrial farmhouse vibe y'all know i love it's got the little on off switch with the foot pedal which is really convenient since it is tight quarters in here and now i am going to get decorating these are some salvaged Hoosier table legs that I took apart off of a Hoosier table. <laughs> I'm keeping these for myself and you can tell I'm super excited. I'm going to place them inside of this wooden barrel with some Kansas wheat. And I do have some of the wheat available in my floral and greenery collection on my site. It makes a great dried floral for summer. If you'd like to check out this lamp for yourself, I will have the link down in the description box below for you. I'll start by adding in a few of my staple pieces. Those pieces that I keep up year round, 
my very favorite things. These are a couple of my favorite crocs. I'm going to tuck them in by the wooden barrel. I'm so glad you clicked on this video today. If you are new here, be sure to hit the subscribe button and that cute little bell next to it. If you click it to all, YouTube will send you a notification every time I upload a new video. Be sure to share this video out with a friend and give it a thumbs up if you love decorating content. This is the buffet that I refinished. I think it was the second or third piece of furniture I ever did. It was in terrible shape. If I can find a picture, I will insert it here on the screen. It was a lot of work to redo, but I love the way it came out. It is painted in DIY Apothecary, and I have actually been thinking about repainting it white. Um, some big redecorating plans coming up, so stay tuned for that. I already have a few things up here. This is kind of the vibe I want to go with for summer. A lot of very neutral colors and a lot of very natural woods, and you see I have some dried flowers, so I want to keep it kind of light, kind of neutral which isn't my normal style. Am I feeling okay? <laughs> but I thought it would be really nice and perfect for summer. Now I will put my very favorite number five croc up on top to tie in the crocs down below and one of my open number two crocs with a little more wheat. You'll also see I have a couple of my largest decor boards of my personal stash up on the buffet. I just wanted to show y'all how I styled my large ones and they actually hide my thermostat which is behind there but they are easy enough I can just slide them out of the way to adjust the temperature. I also added in a couple of new to me brass pieces in which I put some fresh lavender plants that I just got from Walmart. If you're digging my style and you'd like to see some of the items I have up for sale, you'll be able to find everything over on my site, upcycledbybree.com. But I always do link everything down in the description box below as well. That cute little pink box came from a recent estate cleanout. It was covered in gross orange contact paper. I pulled all the contact paper off, cleaned the box, and sprayed it with a clear coat. It's got that perfect pink chippy paint. To match that paint, I painted the antique sign with DIY petticoat pink and used a little bit of dark wax to age it. I am not usually a pink person, but I am loving it. It all started with those little dried pink flowers. My decor style obviously is a little bit more maximalist than most. I definitely love to boutique my home, create little vignettes on all my furniture. I love junk. I love to have a full display of items, including these little ceramic critters. Drop me a comment below. Is this too busy for your eye or do you love to add a ton of decor to your home? You won't hurt my feelings. I know we all love to decorate differently. To finish off the look, I added one of these little floral prints, botanical prints that I made. I've still got a couple left. In fact, this one that's hanging is actually up for grabs, but I wanted to enjoy it while I still had it. And here's a look at the final buffet display. What do you think? Leave me a comment below. What's your favorite piece on my display? I still need to decorate a Hoosier and I've got another little secretary to decorate so I can do more of these videos for sure. I have taken out the bunnies and I think I'm going to go with these cute little white vintage ducks for summer. I hope you enjoyed this quick little decorating video. If so, be sure to leave me a comment down below and I will be sure to do more in the future. Did you come to help?
Okay, see this. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Today we are going to be decorating my buffet for spring. No, anymore not. We already did that. It's going to be for summer. I haven't opened it up yet and I think it's going to be the perfect I think it's going to be the perfect lamp for the space. The area by my <laughs> the area by my buffet.